everybody and welcome to yet another wonderful session on your favorite YouTube channel Banzu and here we are with session number two of knowing your numbers. So we are going to start off with this session by first marking your attendance by hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go subscribe to the channel right now and share this video with at least one friend of yours, uh, of yours today and ask them also to subscribe to the channel. So let's get started with knowing your numbers. What are we going to discuss in today's class? We're going to learn about measuring units for lengths, weights and capacity. And how, what is the relationship between the different units? And we're going to solve a lot of word problems as well. So let's get started with the first topic, measuring units. Now, if I ask you to measure your height, measure your weight, measure your, uh, uh, the, okay, the amount of water that is there in my bottle. So all of these, do they have the same unit of measurement? Do you see all of them in kg or all of them in liters or all of them in meters? No, right? So in metric system, different units are used to measure different, different parameters like length, weight and capacity. So depending upon what you are measuring, we would be using so and so units of measurements. So the first one we're going to talk about is measuring length. Now, if I have to measure the length of this pencil or if I have to measure the length of the table, if I have to measure the length of myself, the height of myself or your, your height. So what are the units that we would be using? We would be using the units meter, ya centimeter, ya kilometer. For height, we use inches and all of that, right? Or you usually use meters or centimeters also. Now there is a, and there is millimeter also. Millimeter is used when you want to measure the tiniest length possible. If you want to measure the tip, the length of this tip of this pen, that would come in millimeters. Now, all of these unit of measurements are related to each other. How? So, one centimeter is 10 millimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. And one kilometer is 1000 meters. Now, this unit of conversions, you'll have to remember, they are very, very, very important when you're solving word problems and when they ask you to convert your units from meters to centimeters, your meters to millimeters, your kilometers to meters, or meters to kilometers, and so on. Now, based on the needs, we choose which unit to use. Now, we would be doing word problems also on this, so don't worry. Now, the next one is measuring weight. Now, it can be done in grams, milligrams, ya kg, right? So, we have milligram, gram and kg, alright? Gram is usually written as g. Now, 1 kg is 1000 grams and 1 gram is 1000 milligram. So, please make sure that you are remembering these units of conversions. So, when it comes to weighing something, apples or your weight or the weight of the table or the weight of the phone or whatever you want to weigh, we usually use milligram, gram and kilogram depending upon what are we measuring. Now, let's solve a question here. A box contains 20,000 water bottles each weighing 8,000 milligrams. One water bottle is weighing 8,000 milligrams. So how many water bottles do we have in this entire box? We have 20,000 water bottles. So what is the weight of the 20,000 water bottle? They're asking the total weight of the bottles in the boxes in grams. So we don't want it in milligrams. Each weight of the bottle is given in milligram. So let us see what is the total weight of 20,000 bottles that are there. So that would be 20,000 into 8,000. Your simple unitary method, right? So we have 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have so many milligrams. But what do we want? We want it in grams. So we have to see what is the relation between your milligram and gram. And we know that 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligrams. We've already seen this here. 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. 
okay so now that we are actually uh, converting milligrams to grams we're going to write milligrams to the left hand side so we'll write 1000 mg mg is milligram is equal to 1 gram so what is that you have 16 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 milligram will be how many grams so whenever you are converting a small unit like here we are converting milligrams to grams so whenever you are converting a small unit to a bigger one we divide what do i mean by that i'm going to divide this big number by thousand three zeros and three zeros cancel here so what am i left with i'm left with one six zero 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 grams all right so remember whenever you are converting a smaller unit of measurement to a bigger unit of measurement we divide so what is that we have here 1,60,000 grams is the weight of all the 20,000 bottles. Now in the comment section tell me, I want you guys to convert this into kg. Convert this into kg and tell me what is going to be the weight of this 20,000 bottles. Comment below and let me know. Next we are going to talk about measuring capacity. Like suppose I want to measure a lip balm. So lip balm is of a small size. So usually we will be using ml okay not a lip balm uh, an eye cream which is a liquid okay then you can use ml which is milliliter then you have liter and kiloliter also one liter is thousand milliliters and one kiloliter is thousand liters right so these unit of measurements are super important we will usually go with the first one which is one liter is equal to thousand milliliters let's solve a question a vessel has four liters and 500 ml of ice cream so what is the total ice cream that this one vessel has four liters so i am going to convert liters to ml see you cannot have a one in liters one in ml either have both in ml or both in liters so i'm going to use both in liters what do i know one liter is equal to thousand ml so my four liters will be how much you're converting a bigger unit to a smaller unit so what are we going to do we're going to multiply big to small we multiply so we mul four, 4 multiplied with 1000 so that will give you 4000 ml plus that 500 ml also that we have here 500 ml so totally the our capacity that the vessel has is 4500 ml of ice cream in one vessel now how many in how many glasses each of 25 ml capacity can it be filled now we want to find the number of glasses now one small glass has a capacity of 25 ml and you totally have 4500 ml of ice cream so what is that you're going to do you're, you're going to divide the entire vessel of ice cream 4500 ml of ice cream into these small small glasses of capacity 25 ml so the number of glasses is equal to the total capacity the total amount of uh, liters uh, sorry, total amount or capacity of ice cream that we have is divided into two to with 25 ml why because we are dividing the entire 4500 ml capacity ka ice cream into smaller smaller glasses each of uh what do you say capacity 45 ml so we are going to divide to get to know the number of glasses so totally we have 25 uh no no, no 180 glasses i'm so sorry totally we have 180 glasses 4500 divided by 25 so totally we have 180 small small glasses so that we can divide 4500 ml of ice cream in it all right your next questions on your screen the distance between the school and the student's house is one kilometer 875 meters 
every day she walks both ways find the total distance covered by her in 6 days now there is house here please excuse my drawing skills okay this is her house and then there is a school theek hai this is the school all right now the total distance between the school and the house they're saying is 1 km 875 meters can we have like this there are two units of measurement so we convert both to meters yeah both to kilometers so i'm going to convert both to meters we know that 1 km is 1000 meters right so we have 1000 Plus this eight seventy five. So what is the total distance in meters? One thousand eight hundred and seventy five meters is the distance between school and house one way. Now every day she walk both ways. So total distance. How much is she traveling? One eight seven five meters is one way from home to school. She'll go. again from school to home she's coming up so she's coming back so she's doing it both ways so that's why we multiply it with 2 so what is that we have here uh 10 14 15 16 17 2 3 meters so totally she's traveling 3750 meters in one day so in 6 days how much will she travel Three thousand seven hundred and fifty multiplied with six will give you the total amount of uh, you know distance. The total distance covered by her in just one week that is equal to twenty two thousand and five hundred. So basically, you can write this as twenty two kilometers five hundred. meters this is how much she is traveling in 6 days all right so please remember whenever we are converting a bigger unit to a smaller one we multiply smaller unit to a bigger one we divide b s m s b d please remember this all right so as you can see for distance or length we use meter centimeter millimeter feet kilometer or inches for volume we use liter milliliter gallons ya yeah, pints and then for weight we go with kilogram milligram gram pounds ya yeah, ounces all right so these are the unit of measurements that you have in our everyday the standard unit of measurements now if you want to know more about this deep uh, you know deep thoughts about how these units of measurements have come into picture why why was there need to standardize the unit of measurements and all of that if you want to dive deep into mathematics do book a free demo with us at banzu the link for the same is in the description box all you have to do is click on that link and register my team will give you a call and set a date whenever you're free and you can take a class with us all for free all right so the next class we're going to start with a new chapter of whole numbers and i'm going to give you a quick intro about what are whole numbers how can we represent them on the number line and what are the properties all right so do not forget to like this video share this video with every friend of yours and ask them to share with at least one friend a day and ask them to subscribe as well so thank you so much guys you people were wonderful in today's class i'm going to see you again in the next one until then bye bye and take care